Addicted to the Outdoors begins now. Well, it was the middle of spring and we were headed out on the road again. And you know what? We have got some great turkey hunting not too far from the house. Well, we've had a little break since whitetail season, but we're starting to jone. So thankfully, turkey season is here and uh, we're headed to the woods. We're going to go catch up with our buddy Greg and hopefully he'll put us on some birds. The nice thing about Greg's setup is you can turkey out during the day, pig hunt in the evening, and then to top it off, you can do a little bow fishing at night. We're going to make a little pit stop on the way at my buddy's gun shop to uh, pick up the old TCs. Tim opened up the shop for us. Man, what a nice guy. What's up, doll man? Thanks for opening up. <laughs> Thanks for opening the shop for us. Big Tim is a good friend of ours. Uh, we have known him for about 15 years. We've hunted with him for about 15 years, and uh, we've bought our guns and gear from him for about 15 years. Oh, that's right. We uh, we cut hers down. No, that's good. She's okay. If she breaks her nose again, she's gonna be coming beating you down now. Cause you said it was okay. Does it feel good? Yeah. I mean, before I was like. Well, your 300 that you you know love to death, he matched them. Now, yeah. And if we when we swapped that out for the 30 TC, you know, you're you're using the same stock, so you're ready to rock and roll. Tim, taking care of you. All right, man. I'll catch up with you. All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you this weekend. Bye. Greg's place was only about a half hour drive from Tim's shop. We have arrived. Uh, we're stopping by Greg's house first before we go to our hotel. <laughs> What's up, man? Present! <laughs> Did, did your yeah. work here? The garbage yeah. bag. Okay. What's up, Slick? Man, you look good tonight, boy. It was just like cold, just calling you. Oh, man. We made it. We're we here. Made it. Greg shot a pretty good deer in Kansas, and uh, needless to say, he was pretty proud of that thing. Oh, look at the big Kansas buck he killed this year. You know, he got the thing mounted and turned around in like a week. But I guess I would be, too. <laughs> I've got a couple pictures here. There's me with him right there. All right. And then you look to the left, there's me with him again. Wow, do you have one under your pillow? Then when you walk in the door, there's one with him. <laughs> Is that all? Yes, yeah. You got, you got one in your truck, right? <laughs> I told Mary I'm gonna put some lights on the wall. I don't know. A little strobe light. Yeah. All right, well, let's roll. <laughs> all right, parking lot 530? Yep. All right. Bye. Are you gonna be there in the morning? Yeah, I'm yep. gonna go. Are, yeah, you coming yeah, with us? Smells yeah, smells good. All right, we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> all right. Maybe she'll give us some, some good, good luck, luck this year. Good luck. You gotta be legal. So when it's time for us to get a license, we usually run to Walmart because you know, Walmart's got everything. I don't know what or why it's so hard, but every time we go get our hunting license, it always takes like an hour to an hour and a half. It's just crazy. We got checked in our hotel and uh, let's just say it was gonna be a short night. Oh, no snoring, John. Oh, save it. That's what the earplugs are for. It's five o'clock in the morning and we're headed out to get us a big nasty turkey. Did you, did, is that my honey bun? Did you get one just like me? Is it yours? Are you, have you lost your mind? Just kidding, John. You think I would eat your honey? Yeah, I think you would. Oh, come on I now. I think you'd eat everything in the bag. That I know to get my own food because you will not share. I know Gina, and don't let her little size fool you. Honey bun and Mountain Dew, breakfast of champions. She can eat everything in that bag. We are fired up because Greg's putting us on a couple of birds, and me and Gina might actually pull off a double, and that would be a first. All right, so 
game plan. Um, I know you said you got the birds pegged. Yeah. You get your setup right on top of them. So we need to obviously we need to slip in dark, no light, super quiet, and just get set. As far as decoys, I got my B mobiles. Do you, you think we should just this morning leave everything alone? Yeah, let's let's go with that one. Try because we think it might. I think they're going to come in there anyhow. So if we change it up, it might booger them up a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. Cause it's kind of late in the season. So. Okay, so we'll just slip in and see if they just do what they've been doing. Yeah. Right on cue. The hens stroll through first, and sure enough, here come the longbeards. Limb Saver presents Addicted to the Outdoors with John and Gina Brunson. Here's where we're at so far. Thankfully, turkey season is here and uh, we're headed to the woods. The nice thing about Greg's setup is you can turkey out during the day, pig hunt in the evening, and then to top it off, you can do a little bow fishing at night. We are fired up because Greg's put us on a couple of birds and me and Gina might actually pull off a double. The hens stroll through first, and sure enough, here come the longbeard. That's both of them. Greg wins the Guide of the Year award for this one because let me tell you, it was all coming together. Two nice long beards, and we were doing everything we could to try and pull off a double. I know, but you got him without looking through the screen. Okay, Gina. turkeys stood out there for what seemed like forever and it was just so awesome to watch. Okay, okay. Man, let me tell you, we were really enjoying the show these birds were putting on. TC barrel got broke in right. Yeah. Yeah, 
We did everything we could to line up that double, but it just wasn't gonna happen. So I did what I always do in that situation. I told Gina to pull the trigger. One down, one to go. Let's go look at him. <laughs> this was a crazy little setup right next to the pole barn, but hey, it worked. Let's check him out. He's got, a nice, he's got a nice beard. No. Yeah, he's eight inch beard or better. He's eight, nine. He's a pretty bird. Look, he's got some nice spurs too. That's a good bird. <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you. As far as turkey hunting goes, it don't get any better than this. Man, they were on. You got a midget? <laughs> He's almost as long as you. With all that turkey talk, it sure made me hungry. I just killed me a turkey, so now it's time to eat some breakfast. <laughs> Since I'm such a great husband and I let my wife shoot first this morning. She's uh, already got her bird down so we we're headed back out to the woods to see if old Greg can put me on one. Since I'm such a good wife, I killed the bird this morning because we knew there was a bigger one out there. out during the day, pig hunt in the evening, and then to top it off, you can do a little bow fishing at night. Greg's putting us on a couple of birds, and me and Gina might actually pull off a double. Here come the long beard. We did everything we could to line up that double, but it just wasn't gonna happen. I told Gina to pull the trigger. Woohoo! Thank you. We were headed back out to the woods to see if old Greg can put me on one. I cannot believe all the turkeys we've seen. We had just got our limb saver bows in and uh, I wanted nothing more than to get out there and stick something. There. I tell you what, this thing's a tack driver, man. That's awesome, I'm done. You gotta love that. My turn. Things getting down there pretty good. Just relax. Just relax. Go ahead and shoot. Yeah, well, we're done. <laughs> We decided to sit on stand that evening and try and stick a pig. And uh, Greg's got a lot of pigs and he's got a lot of turkeys. 
Yeah, we got much long, so yeah, Connie took late. forever getting in the stand. So, <laughs> Hopefully I get me a big pig, since it got me a nice turkey this morning. Well, I was able to kill my turkey first thing this morning, so I'm sitting in a stand, and I'm hopefully going to get a little hog hunting in. I've got my new lemon savers bow, my DZ32, and we're going to see if we can get one on the ground. Sure enough, I hear footsteps in the water behind me. I peek over my left shoulder and here comes a porker. He was so close, I had to wait for him to actually get out from underneath my stand. Settle that pin and squeeze it off. Yes! <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, very first time in the woods with the limb saver, and I got a pig down. Sweet! Pretty good day. Gina's got a turkey down, I got a pig down. Gina may have a pig down, she's sitting on another stand. Bowfish tonight and back turkey hunting in the morning. Gotta love it. Well, there was no luck for me, at least not on the pigs. Now, let's bring you up to speed. Thankfully, turkey season is here and uh, we're headed to the woods. Because you can turkey out during the day, pig hunt in the evening, and then to top it off, you can do a little bow fishing at night. And Greg's putting us on a couple of birds, and me and Gina might actually pull off a double. Here come the long beard. We did everything we could to line up that double, but it just wasn't gonna happen. I told Gina to pull the trigger. Woohoo! thank you. I cannot believe all the turkeys we've seen. <laughs> Here comes a porker. Gotta love it. The next activity of the day will be bow fishing. I love adventure, and it was pretty neat to ride in the airboat. Over the top? Okay. Oh, was that close? I am on the board. That didn't take too long. Gar number one, down. How does he reel it up so fast? Mine's like stuck again. While Gina was playing with a bird's nest, uh, I was slinging arrows. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, you have to do that one. Yeah. I am, I am. <laughs> oh, that's a nice fish. Got the big nasty. That's what I'm talking about. That's a good fish. I want a big fish. Oh, you got him, babe. <laughs> Good shot. I finally caught on, so you boys better watch out. Yeah. Tag him and he's a little fella. You. Oh yeah. Oh, pardon. <laughs> Can I get him off? Oh, you oh yeah. Oh yeah. John is a fish stealer. No, now come on, that's not holy, right. Holy fighting fish, man. <laughs> Great shot, John. Do it. Oh, nice fish. Look at the big net. Right oh, I gotta find him. I gotta find him. Oh, the, look at him go. Oh, yeah. What's up with that? Look that at the big so fish. That's the same one you shot earlier. Quit no, it's not. Oh, wait, that's a huge fish. Look at that, man. That's a sweet fish. That's a good size fish. Two monsters so far for two, two good fish. Two, and some little ones. Yeah, that was a good fish. The big oh. Good job, babe. All right. Oh, we got all. That's all right, you got him. This fishing trip, I had a blast. Well, we booked out here for a couple hours. Hammered some fish. Actually, actually uh, stuck some pretty good fish tonight. 
but we are going to head in and try and get at least a few hours sleep because uh, somebody has got to get up in the morning and try and kill a turkey and somebody gets to sleep in. And so I killed out early. Hey, it's not my fault. Well, it is bright and early, and we are headed to one of Greg's little honey holes. It takes an airboat to get to it, but that's probably a good thing. It probably means it ain't hunted too hard. So we're going to slide out on this little piece of property coming on the backside, hop off, and see if we can catch some goblin on the roost and set up. And hopefully, it's quick like it was yesterday for Gina. I like it when the guide says it's going to take us a little while to get to the spot, because that means it probably hasn't been hammered too much. Man, there's turkey sign everywhere and we heard several birds gobbling, but about eight o'clock they just shut down and we could not get on one. So we're gonna regroup, jump on the boat, head back over to the other piece of property that we hunted yesterday, spend the second half of the day there and see if we can make something happen. See him out in the field? Strutting. We took one more stab at him and tried to pull off a stalk. We got close, but then we got busted. <sighs> they flew. We had such an awesome trip. I killed a turkey, John killed a hog, and we both shot a lot of fish. What more could you ask for? We always have a blast hunting with Greg. Um, he is one of those guys that will have you rolling in your chair all day, every day. And uh, he's got a unique little place to hunt. And I uh, like our show name, Addicted to the Outdoors. Me and Gene are definitely addicted. And this little combo hunt, well, it was a great way to feed the addiction. Say yes. <laughs> Addicted, addicted, addicted to the outdoors. <laughs> she was mean to me. Oh my god, am I? Oh, girlfriend, watch your step. <laughs> oh yeah.